bring myself to the park yesterday because it was pretty stressful and I was really tired because the flight was at 8.40 p.m. and we arrived in Singapore uh, around 1 a.m. so I couldn't really feel content yesterday so which I'm sorry about but as you can see I'm back and if you maybe could tell from the background we are at IKEA Singapore we are also meeting up with my aunt and my cousin to have breakfast together and I'm really excited to see what options they have hope to see you guys at the table where I'm having breakfast Hi guys, sorry to interrupt again, but here are just some basic information about the store opening hours, the restaurant opening hours and the bistro opening hours. To my Muslim subscribers, if you are wondering whether IKEA 10 Pines has halal food just for you, yes, <laughs> they do. They even have a small separated restaurant all about halal food, which is a big plus point to me, even though I'm not a Muslim, but I just appreciate and love how Singapore really cares for their citizens. Now, I'm sure some of you are waiting for the burning questions. How the heck do I get to IKEA 10 Pines? I got you. Here's a shadow bus schedule. Pause to read, but you can also check it out down in the description below. If you visit IKEA by car, you won't have to worry about parking. Excuse my cousin. <laughs> If you visit IKEA by car, you won't have to worry about parking since it's for free. Therefore, if you visit IKEA by taxi, we paid around 17 to 18 Singaporean dollars, which are like um, 11 or 12 euro, which is cheap. If you live in Germany, you know how expensive it is to drive via taxi. <laughs> if you're scared that your taxi driver will overcharge you, I can reassure you that it most definitely won't happen since it's illegal and against the law in Singapore. I also linked the menu down below if you want to take a better look at the options they offer. I hope you enjoy the rest of my video and I'll see you guys in my next vlog.
which corner in Singapore is clean, let's be real. <laughs> but I really like it. It's very nice. But I must say the difference from IKEA Singapore and IKEA Germany is that IKEA Singapore is a little bit more advanced regarding technology since they have small machines where you can order. Well, I guess I'll see you guys at the next destination because I have no idea what's the name of the sites we're gonna see now. I have made a very funny discovery because we were talking to our taxi driver about the area to my solo female travelers please do not book a hotel in Geylang or around the Geylang um, area because our taxi driver said that the crime rate in this city is actually the highest even though Singapore is a very safe country my um, battery died so I'm gonna continue filming on my phone I'm just watching out for my girls and I'm putting it out there this is nothing against the hotel that I'm staying in which is Ibis Budget Singapore Pearl and nothing against them the, the rooms are clean the toilets are clean the staff is very friendly most funniest thing about this situation is that right next to our hotel Hold on, I gotta Google this shit. <laughs> the name I was looking for was Brothel, so... Side-eye. 